It's a hard pill to swallow when somebody tells you that you have cancer. The first thing you feel, of course, is fear. It's my first day on the job as the new manager, and I walk past uh, this lady who's making hats. And I remember thinking as I'm going into my office, putting the things down, why does that lady have all these things in her desk? And then she says, I create hats during my downtime for the cancer patients at Levine Cancer Institute. That's when I met Janet. I mean, I've seen Janet five days a week for almost 20 years. She, she loves people. That's why she does what she does. What a nice thing for her to do to take the time between her calls. She'll knit, do a little bit and then do whatever she has to with the patient, phone rings and stuff. She told me about her father who had had cancer and, and how it meant so much to her to want to be able to give back. I was 12 years old when I found out that my dad had cancer. Our lives changed almost immediately. Before the night was over, we had a house full of people. There was so many things people did for us. My mom would call us all together and she would say, don't ever forget what people gave to you. She said, and always give back. I too am a survivor. So, and I remember having those times when I lost my hair, cause I did that too, I had hair loss. It's not just a hat that Janet is making for people, it's love that she's giving them. It gives you a sense of beauty, warmth. And I think Janet probably doesn't even know that she gives that to people. She's not going to show it, but deep down, I know that it touches her a lot. I know it's going to somebody who's afraid that might not know what tomorrow holds. But I want them to know by making the hats and giving them the hats that they're cared about and they're thought about. Each and every day, she comes to work with the idea of making people better. She wants to make a difference in people's lives in any way that she can, be it making a hat, on the phone, what a phenomenal woman to do this for people she doesn't know.